Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk. In this video, we're going to take a look at some precision input basics in AutoCAD and Civil 3D for MicroStation users. So if you're new to AutoCAD or Civil 3D, I want to kind of show you how to get started with your precision input when you're creating new geometry. So to start with, we'll look at the basic method for keying in precise information into the command line. So I'm going to make sure, first of all, that my dynamic input mode is off. If you don't see this button, you'll need to go over here to the customization and turn it on. We we'll want it off to start with. So just some very basic. So this will be the equivalent to your XY, your DX, uh, all that good stuff in um, MicroStation. So I'm going to start the create rectangle command. It asks for the first corner point. If I want to go right to an absolute coordinate, I can just type it in 100 comma 100, for example, enter. So you can see from my running coordinates here, if I kind of hover, it's going to be at 100, 100. And then if I want to finish at 200, 200, I just type that in. So really simple if you need to do an X, Y there. And we'll talk about Y, X or Northern Easting in a bit. Civil 3D gives us a nice option for that. Okay, what about delta? I want to put in delta distance. So if I start the rectangle command, and I'm just going to click anywhere to start with, and if I want to do a dx or a delta xy, I'm going to type the at symbol, and I will do 100 comma 100. Okay, so we started here, we went 100 feet in the x and y direction. So it's pretty much that easy. Now let's talk about direction distance from the command prompt here. I'm going to go to the create polyline command, which is a 2D entity. I'm going to start here. And it says specify next point. So I want to do a direction distance. I'm going to start just like I did the delta because I need a delta distance. I'm going to go at 200 feet. But then I'm going to put the angle symbol. And you can see the way this is interpreting angles. If I hover over here, the positive, just like MicroStation, by default, the positive or the zeros on the positive X going counterclockwise. So I can key in an angle that way with the default AutoCAD azimuth, or I could change that and key it in that way, or probably more commonly would be just to input a bearing. So if I wanted to do north 75 east, there we go. So there's kind of your basics. These work on all of the geometry creation commands. This works on the modify commands, the copy, move, scale. So any of these can be used if you want to move something a certain distance, copy, all that works fine. Just take these out. Now if I turn on dynamic input, and a lot of people, the re reason I'm showing this is because a lot of people run with this on because it is very really nice to have your commands at the cursor. But I just want to show it because it, it to behaves slightly differently and it's just presented to us differently. So it says to start our, my first corner point. And so let's type in just 100 comma 100 enter so let's see did that start at 100 100 it did so when it was asking for a point you couldn't do delta right because you haven't started anywhere so it took the point as an absolute so now when I input the other coordinate I'm just going to type in 50 comma 50 enter and you can see the way this was it interpreted so I, did, I didn't do the at symbol, but it took it as an at symbol. So it was saying, okay, kind of like AccuDraw does. AccuDraw MicroStation is always a delta. Same thing here. When I key into that box with the comma, it interprets it as the uh, delta. So if I start it again just to show a difference here, and let me let me start at a, at a spot here. I'm going to put in 100, comma 100, enter. So I start at 100, comma 100, and... Now if I do pound symbol, 100, I'm sorry, 200, comma, 200, enter. Let's see what it did. So you can see I started 100, 100, I'm hovering, and I went to 200, 200. So that's where that pound symbol we talked about is nice. It'll kind of pop you back over to absolute coordinates from delta. 
Another thing that works, not that uh, I don't think this is recommended workflow, but if I start anywhere and I actually want to do uh, absolute, I can actually just type in 200 and hit the tab key. It locks and go to 200 and tab. And it'll always be absolute. And if I click to finish, so that's kind of like, uh, well, look, not kind of, it's really more like AccuDraw works on the locking when you tab between, except that AccuDraw is, is typically a delta. So the tab key will let you lock the absolute coordinates also. So I'm going to turn this back off. So that's just the basics of the, and that's really just AutoCAD functionality there we're looking at. Now because we have Civil 3D running, we have a few extra items on when you're talking about just pure vector graphic creation. And we have this transparent toolbar that Civil 3D gives us. We have things like northern easting, latitude, longitude, of course all your Kogo points and point objects, station offset. So when you're trying to define things relative from a civil standpoint, well then you, this toolbar comes in handy. You can see your profile uh, snaps also. You've got bearing distance, angle distance, azimuth, all that good stuff at the top. So just to demonstrate, if I start at a rectangle and I want to start at northern easting 100 comma 100, I start the command, I go and click the transparent tool called northern easting. I can also, you can see the key in is just apostrophe NE. So once I learn those, I don't even have to go over there and click. So it takes over the command though. Notice here, I'm going to type in 100, enter, Easting's 100, enter, and it stays in the command. So for the other point on the rectangle, it's, it lets you key it in again. But say now you don't want to do that, you just want to click graphically. Well, you escape out of the command, and then I can click to finish. So it really runs and takes over the command until you escape out of the transparent tool. Again, transparent tools work on any of the modified commands as well. And last, we'll just do a quick direction based. I'll start a polyline and I'll go up and I'm just going to hover now to find the bearing distance. It's apostrophe BD. So let's do it that way this time. So on the command prompt, I'll just type in apostrophe BD. It asks which quadrant I can click or just type, so we'll just click in the northeast quadrant. Now it says input the bearing. I'll put 40 dot 30 30, so that's 40 degrees, 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Enter for a distance, I'll type in 250, enter. And notice again, it wants to continue, so if I had a deed entry or something like that, it would just stay in this transparent tool until I escape out, and then it'll pop me back to the command that I started in. Now, of course, Civil 3D has many more numerous ways from a tabular method to key in, but we're looking at just pure vector graphic precision input in this intro video. So I hope this helps, and have a great day.